so what we will do is that uh, we will start now with uh, uh, Julian Dalicos, who is a CEO of uh, Innoventum, and uh, he has been so in the last two years. Before that, he has been CTO uh, of the same company for eight years. And he holds a sustainable energy engineering master at the Royal University of uh, Stockholm. And on top of that, he has 15 years experience within small wind. Uh, Julian, are you there? Yes. Hello, yes. Daniel. Okay, I will take the spotlight away from me and then you have the floor for your presentation. So, hi everybody. Uh, thank you, Daniel. So if I understand correctly, I should share my screen. Yes. Right? Okay. So mm -hmm. you gave me the, the admin right. So you should be able to see a PowerPoint now, correct? Yes. Okay. So if I put in presentation mode, okay. Um, hello everybody. So yeah, uh, my name is Julian and I'm sitting right now in Malmö in South uh, Sweden, where we have our headquarter. Um, Innoventum has been uh, doing small wind turbine installation since 2010. Uh, we have been uh, developing wooden tower uh, from the beginning. Uh, to get an alternative to steel tower because our motto is to really focus on uh, uh, environmental friendly product. So using the wood instead of the metal. So we really focus on sustainability, uh, reducing the uh, carbon emission. Uh, functionality, we always try to bring some more advantages to our solution compared to a standard solution. And as you will see on the picture, or maybe some of you have seen our installation, we really focus on uh, design, uh, which uh, it's easier to integrate small wind turbine uh, for client. So our um, core product, uh, the when it comes to small wind, because we also do some solar installation, but we have our giraffe, which is a hybrid wind and solar, uh, this product was developed mainly a few years before the electric mobility boom. Um, this is uh, this solution is designed for uh, parking two car underneath uh, and uh, charging from the wind and the sun. So it's a 12 meter high uh, at the rotation axis and in very good condition with six meter uh, second average wind speed and the five, uh, 7.5 kilowatt wind turbine, we can get up to 25 kilowatt hour per year. Uh, the Dali Fund, uh, some of you will recognize the two blade Gaia. Uh, the tower is uh, 14 meters with a uh, six meter steel tower on top. Uh, since it's a downwind turbine, we uh, optimize uh, and we keep the steel uh, tower for the top. And uh, our product, which is more for private, uh, it's the DALI, uh, DALI tower or DALI power tower when it comes to hybrid with uh, solar. Uh, this tower is a 12 meter tower. Uh, 12 meter is pretty uh, standard in the industry, uh, mainly because of some uh, building permit uh, in country, uh, such as uh, France, you don't need building permit for 12 meter. And combining wind and solar, we get about uh, 17,000 kilowatt hour per year. Uh, next slide. So the, um, this is the giraffe. This is one of our first installation here in, in Malmö. Uh, this uh, site was actually used by SP for certification of the giraffe in terms of uh, design structure, uh, energy performance, so our DALI tower was used for all the weather station and measuring equipment, recording data for one year. And uh, we, got, we were the first one in Sweden to get the consumer label uh, for small wind. Uh, the giraffe, uh, which is a hybrid system, it can be used for cars, uh, which is the, the main purpose. But some of our clients, such as municipality, has been using it for charging electric bike. Um, 
this is also in Sweden. So we have been invited to several conferences and uh, we have received some award for design. Um, we are proposing a few um, type of turbine, uh, but mainly uh, five kilowatt and 7.5 kilowatt on the giraffe. 24 solar panel, all panel have a different angle. So we optimize production for uh, along the day from east to west. And of course we have a very nice uh, glue laminated uh, wooden structure uh, as, a, as a support for all the wind and solar. So unique design as you have seen on the picture. Um, uh, superior energy yield through best energy uh, density. Uh, if you compare just to a normal solar car port, adding the wind turbine uh, will boost the energy density. So this is really important when you have limited space and you want to get the, the maximum uh, kilowatt hour uh, out of the solution. Um, energy production uh, when you have a hybrid with a small wind turbine and solar is very important. It's even more important in North uh, Europe where uh, solar give good number a uh, few months uh, summertime but uh, the rest of the year when you have high energy needs uh, especially for heating uh, the solar is not really efficient so combining wind and solar is uh, really a, a way to go for all of our client uh, we always push for this solution um, the wood is, of course, uh, much more friendly, uh, offset CO2 emission. Um, the wooden structure in general has uh, this property to absorb uh, vibration from the generator. So the wooden fiber has, has been, uh, in terms of acoustic, a very positive uh, feedback from us, uh, bringing a more um, better acoustic. Uh, we are sourcing all our component in Europe and uh, yeah, we also propose some uh, energy storage solution. Uh, the Giraffe received some um, product show um, award. We also received a grant from Swedish Energy Agency. This is the report from SP uh, consumer label that we were the first one to, to get. And one of our distributors in Ireland also get approved the giraffe uh, to get subsidies as a power station. So we are trying to find some uh, innovative way to integrate small wind into a system that uh, get uh, that can get over some buyer for, for example, uh, installation permit or uh, this is how our approach. Um, some of the installation of the giraffe, uh, some in Sweden, here in Lund at the uh, particle accelerator. Uh, one client in Austria uh, was done the installation by himself. Uh, this was in Marrakesh for the COP22. Um, uh, yeah, and recently, this year, we got uh, in Sicily at the Renewable Energy Center, uh, our first giraffe in Italy. Um, so this will be in operation grid connected uh, soon, but uh, they already have done the inauguration. Just a few picture about the giraffe. Uh, it's easy to install uh, ground assembly of the wooden structure, pre assembly of the solar panel and you lift and you drop the wind turbine on top. So it would take uh, with the foundation uh, less than a week. The other product, it's the Dalifant. Uh, we have been testing different turbine, but uh, uh, the Gaia was the, the best fit for this. And I guess you have seen a lot of Gaia in Denmark. So uh, this is the, the turbine we have selected. Um, <coughs> the, um, yeah, the Dalifant, so it's a 14 meters wooden structure, a six meter wooden tower, 11 kilowatt uh, generator and oversized blade diameter uh, for, uh, which is really good uh, in terms of uh, low wind speed area. And we have an online platform where you can monitor uh, production. And this is a more uh, picture from the installation. Then we have a, a wire la ladder going to the, the 
steel section and to do the maintenance we use the basket so we climb the tower uh, an example in south sweden uh, this echo farm is on tv every year and uh, uh, this is uh, the type of profile that we get as customer uh, echo farm has been uh, the main uh, focus uh, for this product um, they are of course yeah it's part of their uh, trademark to to have solar panel and wind turbine uh, another installation also in Sweden, this uh, Echo Farm, who is uh, making um, beer, for example, or, but also meat. And they have installed the Dalifan a few years ago. Um, I think this is our best producing turbine, which reached 37,000 kilowatt hour in one year. And they also get um, a TV show, uh, an online uh, show. Uh, you have a lot of episodes showing their life and it's uh, really good to show that uh, small wind is part of this uh, eco uh, trend for farms. In terms of installation of our tower, uh, it's an eight legs tower. Um, you, when the foundation are done, you just pre-assembly on the ground, lift and fit uh, the eight leg onto the foundation bring up the generator with the tower and the blades. Uh, coming to the to the product which we have sold the most, uh, I would say we have about 50 units installed. Uh, it's the Dali power tower. Uh, so it's a tripod tower, uh, of course, made of wood, uh, 12 meter, 11.8 exactly at the rotation axis. Uh, we have uh, combination with solar, if uh, you want to get the hybrid also. Um, so this solution is also design pattern protected in several countries. Uh, as you can see on the picture here, uh, we can do the installation without the crane uh, using a winch. Uh, this is really important in some geography where you don't have access for a crane or uh, or it's difficult to bring heavy steel tower. Uh, usually small wind turbine on the roof uh, is not a great fit unless you stick out the turbine enough to avoid turbulence. So this installation on the roof of a university in Sweden is really well producing because you avoid the turbulence. And um, the foundation was done at the same time as the building. So it was from the beginning uh, a plan to have a small wind turbine on top. Um, so we are proposing in function of the energy need uh, and the wind speed at the location, we have three, five, seven kilowatt uh, turbine that we are buying from a, a supplier in Europe. Um, this design is um, it's a beautiful tower uh, compared to uh, lattice or tubular tower. Pro uh, pattern protected uh, modular construction. Thanks to the wood, we are able to lower down the acoustic emission and. Um, high quality components that we are always selecting. Um, uh, we have been partnering up with some uh, UN uh, entities. Uh, we get uh, some uh, installation outside Europe. Uh, we have also support some uh, not NGO uh, to provide energy to remote uh, locations such as uh, the Philippines. And this is the installation in the Philippines. This is a power tower, uh, wind and solar in South Sweden, a uh, private uh, customer. And this is some other example of our installation. So we have been validating uh, our design uh, in different geography. Uh, this installation is for uh, a refuge in the Alps, uh, close to Zermatt in Switzerland. Uh, also, we have done uh, installation in fuel installation in Africa, uh, in Kenya, uh, Madagascar, providing energy to um, remote hospital um, 
and those installations in Africa or outside Europe, they usually off-grid, a 48 volt DC uh, system. Uh, one of our distributors also pimped up a bit, uh, adding uh, 16 panel to the tower, so it's evolutive. Um, and uh, this is also an interesting design. And most of our, our client, uh, of course, they live in uh, outside cities because there's no miracle. You need wind, a uh, good wind resource to get some uh, good number. So, yeah, it's always uh, focusing on the right spot. I'll just check the time. Okay. Um, yeah, this is the installation on the roof. Um, we have also done some installation uh, in Sri Lanka. I think we did the part of, of the first mini grid in Sri Lanka for an island with a thousand people. Um, but this time, let's say the, the RFQ was mentioning only steel tower. And uh, in Europe, wood is considered as a good resources, but in developing country, wood can be seen as a cheap option. So. Uh, there's still some work to do here, uh, but we, are, uh, we all know that wood, you have a wooden, let's say, temple in Japan that are a thousand years old. So wood can last for a very long time. Uh, we Usually the lifetime uh, with uh, maintenance on the wood every 10 years, uh, adding some lean oil will last uh, 50 years. So this was an uh, installation in Sri Lanka with still hydraulic uh, steel tower. Uh, six wind turbine, um, a single phase inverter, two, two wind turbine per phase. And uh, they already, they had 40 kilowatt solar and I think about 100 kilowatt hour battery with backup gen set. So this was really a success for ADB, Asian Development Bank. Uh, we have been training uh, CEB, the national grid in, uh, in Sri Lanka. They came to Sweden to get the training on small wind turbine. Uh, solar and mini grid system. Uh, maybe you have seen our picture before that all our installation are including, uh, we don't use concrete. Concrete is an alternative, it's possible. Some client uh, that take the package, do it yourself, use the concrete, but uh, we always push to get the screw foundation. So screw foundation, you only need uh, this machine to put the screw and even for the big one, the Dali front, um, which is 20 meter high with the Gaia, we also use a screw foundation. So we have 32 screws, which can, which are easily installed in one day with uh, two machines. Um, so compared to concrete excavation, curing time and all this, this is much faster. And in the case that uh, some time for building permit, when we use screw foundation, we are able to say uh, it's not a permanent installation compared to concrete. So we also get around some building permit restriction using screw foundation. The Dali tower, when it comes in terms of logistic, it's a, it's a, one, a two cubic meter uh, pallet. Um, it's like uh, Ikea of the tower. Uh, so you assembly uh, bolt and nuts and after with or without a crane, uh, you can do the erection. In Philippines, we, do, we did the ere erection with a uh, uh, block lever. They, they didn't have any winch, so it was no problem. Uh, as you can see here, a block lever in the Philippines and uh, some people to support. So for the DALI 12 meter, we have modular noise absorption, uh, all the design and the conception of the tower was done uh, by university with revision from uh, certification companies. And as you can see, it took a lot of work. We ran a competition with university to design the best tower. So we came with uh, 10 group, 10 different design. Uh, we had a lot of very interesting ID. And then we came with the DALI, um, DALI as the, the final winning solution that has been refined over the year. 
and uh, of course we wood is a very good resources in terms of co2 um, so yeah and this is the latest project of innoventum uh, we have been opening a branch in uh, switzerland uh, and uh, we also go into online uh, marketing and shopping so uh, because our, our design some of our design are really focused on do it yourself and uh, we can't be everywhere to do the installation so uh, we have very efficient manual um, way to install uh, the wind turbine uh, and also the giraffe uh, so we are we will be able to to sell directly online and uh, yeah this is the end of my presentation so i'm on time so I think now, if there is any question, uh, welcome. Uh, some question. I think it's we said five minutes. I know it's always a bit difficult since it's uh, it's so much site dependent. But uh, did you uh, do you have some numbers on the LCOE on the on the cost of electricity uh, for your installations? Um, yeah, of, of course. This is uh, dependent on the site. Um, so. Um, Sweden is not really the best market because electricity price is, uh, is kind of cheap compared to Denmark or Germany. Um, uh, but then our, our market uh, understand, you would understand that some of our product are more exclusive. So uh, people that are buying our system, uh, they are okay for getting a return on investment in 15 years instead of 10 years. They are not counting on on this. They want uh, the design. Uh, they want the best quality product. So um, it's uh, it's uh, more our approach uh, now. So um, and of course it depends if you include the production of solar or no. But um, I don't really have a, a number. No, it's fine. Uh just uh, just wanted to ask and uh, i know it's it's uh, uh, i mean it's a beautiful design and uh, of course that has got to be worth something so yeah thank you we have a couple of more questions in the chat so one is from uh, uh, tobias and one is from andreas you can just unmute yourself and ask so, so this is Tobias. I simply wanted to con congratulate you on the fantastic design of the giraffe. I, I believe we all understand that uh, the acceptance in the population to have a wind turbine somewhere, somewhere around highly depends on how beautiful it is. And, you know, you, you really excelled there, I believe. So congrats. Thank you. Thank you, Tobias. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's what we call like the not in my backyard uh, to yes, please in my front yard. <laughs> this is what we want to develop the yeah the feeling. And uh, of course, Scandinavia and Sweden has been known for using wood products, so it was uh, just uh, yeah a tradition to to find something nice and uh, sustainable so um, yeah the wood is only uh, is only growing uh, a market so yeah we are pleased you you like it a question from andreas now so can i mute yourself andreas yeah yeah i can try um so the main question is if like you do some kind of assessment to the with the local climate regarding the is a reliability or serviceability of the wood i imagine it's quite different uh, being in northern sweden to southern sweden or, or switzerland for that matter um yeah yeah so 
um, let's say from south of Sweden or north Sweden, it's, it's still like a, a Nordic uh, climate. Uh, so it, there's no problem. The wood uh, lo like it when it's uh, cold. Um, so we have different wood type uh, from pine uh, to larch. We are moving more and more towards uh, larch. It's a more exclusive wood, but it's also a more uh, durable wood. Um, and uh, we don't need to do a, a lean oil because it's naturally uh, treated. Um, the only thing is when you go to tropical countries and termites. Um, so for this, we have to do pressure impregnation of the wood. Uh, the wood is not directly in contact with the, the ground. So there's less, uh, let's say, less attraction from the termite to go to the wood. But all the installation that have been done in a tropical country with pressure impregnation, uh, we, have, we didn't see any, any problem. Um, so yeah, the, the wood will turn gray with time, but this is, uh, this is the same for all the wooden structure, uh, in terms of maintenance, when you use pine, uh, we have this echo lean oil that we apply before installation and after maintenance or redoing one layer of lean oil, it's, uh, between eight to 10 years. But it's uh, only wood protection. It's nothing related with uh, mechanical property. The wood will remain very strong. Thank you, Julian. Uh, so we have some more questions in the in the chat, but uh, we we should move on to the next speaker so that we don't get delayed in the program. We will have some time for networking afterwards, and uh, you're also welcome to yeah to answer the questions in chat, of course. But it's nice also. When, uh, when we can talk to each other. Also, I would suggest when there are questions and when there are presentations, if you have the chance, turn on the camera so that we have a feeling of being closer a little bit. But uh, yeah, thanks for now. And, uh...